friends good morning it's been a minute uh since i've been on youtube but well we are back with a vlog to kigali um this has been the morning i've just finished packing i've decided to throw on a wig uh for like a different look and this is how i've styled my denim jacket i got these little details from trisha and i added them to the jacket to sort of elevate it um this is everything that i've packed not the dera not the dera please uh, not this as well, not this as well, but everything else. Um, so these are like there's a pass that I'll use for hiking, a uh, hand steamer, you never know when you need it. I have my perfumes and skincare in here, and I have a bit of makeup in there. The dress I'm wearing for the Trace Awards is in there, and just a few other clothes. And some items for the people that um, follow me in Rwanda. I'm so excited to be going. I'm going to be attending the Trace um, Music Awards. Uh, we are starting with the Trace Festival. Um, the, that's like the pre-award ceremony. Like just cocktails, drinks, you know, for people to get to know each other today. Then, um, then the festival, then tomorrow is when the awards are. Then I'll be flying with Rwanda Air to Kamembe after that. Um, for their domestic route, I'll be checking out Nyongwe national park and i'll also be going to visit lake kivu so yeah it's going to be an exciting trip today's friday and i'm leaving on friday and coming back on tuesday and i want to get in as much content as i can for you guys so yeah we are really just getting ready to leave i'm going to show you guys my outfit when i'm stepping out of here but yeah i think that's it that's it welcome to this video okay the bedroom didn't have enough like good light I think I managed to get some good light here and this is what we are going with a grey like washed out denim grey jacket and a black crop top and loose baggy pants silver bag and Nike Air Force sneakers yeah that's my comfortable airport look feel cute so cute can't wait to be in Kigali I'm quite nervous I'm really really nervous so I'm going to get to the airport and check in and then like sit down and pray so that I like God can take away this anxiety <laughs> I know why I'm nervous but I really am anywho we move so in case anyone is wondering or asking where am I seated I'm seated on an angle of elevation because yeah, I'm traveling in business class. This is the first time that I'm actually traveling solely for content and like content creation. Um, like you know that thing where you sit in a moment, like you sit in a moment and God's glory and like and grace engulfs you. That's what's happening to me right now. This is beyond my wildest dream. When I was starting out. I knew that I'd, I'd go far. You know, like that thing where you know you want to be great, you know you're going to be great, but you don't know how. But yeah, here I am, seated in business class. Okay, seated in the lounge, <laughs> and I'm traveling for business in business class for a trip that is just fully catered for, and yeah, for content creation. I am so humbled, I'm so grateful, I'm just so, I don't have the words, but like God can feel glorify himself, that I know, that I really know. I won't spun the camera around because there are other people and for their privacy, but my God, to God be the glory, to God be the glory. I am so happy to be doing this, I'm, I'm traveling with Rwanda Air and such an amazing flight, it's very organized. Oh. And I can't believe it. I really cannot believe it. Beloved, we are here, we are boarding, it's boarding time, and that is our mode of transport. But, beloved, we're on the air. I should be there in the next like 45 minutes. I'm so excited for this journey, you guys. I'm so excited for you to see this video and see most of the behind the scenes that's going to take place. But for now, I gotta go. Bye bye. I'm about to start having those captions of it's lonely at the top, it's lonely in the business class. I'm seated here alone, but anyway, very spacious, very comfortable. I can't believe I can cross leg, that is very important. 
because for me this has always been my dream to like to be able to cross legs. So here I am. I don't think it's you cross legs on another day. Is it? Is it friends? Anyway, super excited. I'm super excited. I'm so sorry for all the nonsense that I'm saying. I'm just super excited. But yeah, we are now setting off. So goodbye. Catch you in Kigali. So we are in Kigali and I want to tell you guys that it's such a very like you know from the moment you walk into the airport it's very organized very quiet like when i put out there was a taxi driver who was like do you want a taxi i said no he quietly said okay thank you like that's it guys it's the silence the beauty it's such a very beautiful airport very organized airport like you don't hear you don't hear people laughing you don't hear people talking it's just serene peaceful it's oh my goodness <laughs> what fail me beloveds this is my room i'm staying at park inn by radisson beautiful space just like together but this is the room tour let me give you the room tour before i get it spoiled small little couch over there very comfortable bed i can tell because i've sat on it and i love beds so i know a tv um you know this setting a reading table a mirror and a safe if you have money but your girl is broke and she left her money in kampala um some water okay this is a mirror i almost walked into the mirror this is a mirror oh, such a cutie closet a bathroom yep we're good to go one of the things that i'm going to keep talking about that i'm like i'm marveling about is how beautiful this country is they it's so green it's so green they've planted trees it's so green like i've seen and i'm like how can i go and make my home better how can i go and make uganda better i swear i feel like i want to go and plant trees on the streets and wake up and like put barbed wire and make sure that no one destroys them this country is so green First of all, when they like we, they're organized. You guys, I am so sorry. Like I'm going to marvel and marvel about this country. I'm going to marvel about Rwanda. I now see when they say visit Rwanda. Yes, visit Rwanda. Visit Rwanda. Because we stopped at like there was a traffic light. Then it released the cars like green. You go. Then I saw them stop somewhere. So I was like maybe there's another traffic light. I'm like where are they stopping? They're like oh it's a zebra crossing. I know someone from another country watch it and just be like what but as, as like shocked that yeah they do respect zebra crossing when they stop i was like i kept seeing like even boda boda guys I'm like is this a boda boda guy are you sure it's a boda boda they're like yeah stopping at the traffic lights friends visit rwanda visit rwanda oh my god what a serene organized country beloved <laughs> beloved i don't have words now guys i don't know what you guys do when you get to a hotel but for me it's to first organize everything so i'm just so that it's easy for me to reach to to reach out to oh my god my perfume board mm. this is replica yeah it poured uh, this is replica by i think maison Angela, or i hope i'm doing it the correct way i have some sunscreen i also carried some Coco Chanel, Coco Noir by Chanel, and I carried something I can't pronounce. Uh, in yeah, oh, whatever. And some body glow, and this is for my lashes. I have um, my cleanser. I'll take this to the bathroom. Just like one to set up. I also carried my Good Molecules you know my toner. Uh, this is another cleanser this is the most subtle one this is bioma this is also another cleanser and oil cleanser because i'm going to be wearing makeup today and tomorrow and so i'll take this to the bathroom this is paula's choice salicylic acid it's an exfoliant this one right here is for my hair uh, olive oil aloe soft flexible or something like that i have a steamer these guys have a flat iron but i, w I just felt like wasn't sure so i'm just like you know what, let me just carry this you never know when i need it so i carried a hand steamer i'll clearly probably not need it 
this is going to the bathroom. My toothbrush and I carried some toothpaste. So that's just safe to be more organized. I think I'm now going to place things into in the closet and yeah, do that. I'm so glad I came with my tripods. So it's going to be so easy um, to film content. Should have carried my laptop so that I can do some work because I have a lot of work next week. And you know, guys, guess who is coming from Kenya? Joy Candy. Yeah, she's also staying at the same hotel. I can't wait to meet her because I'm such a huge fan. So I'm going to be. Can you imagine? I get to meet Joy Candy. Can you believe it? Anywho, um, let me first organize myself, hang my clothes. I may be back to film that or I may not, we'll see, because I want this to go, I want all this to go into one video, but I also want to give you as much content as possible, so if it's too long, we'll do what, we'll do two videos, I mean, who is stopping us, it's our channel, so who cares, so I'll go and look for a makeup artist at about like 3pm, because there's a festival in the evening, then I'll show you guys what I'm wearing, I'm excited, I'm wearing a short cute skirt and like a top and yeah, just like playing with things here and there, so cannot wait for that. Bye for now guys. Beloved, I am now back. I'm going to shower, get my makeup done for tonight's festival. And I think I, I love, love what I'm wearing today uh, because it's very casual, chic, very, you know, love it. So I have a makeup artist coming in to do my makeup and then I'll be going for the festival. Um, yeah, we're being picked up at six. It's now 3.30. So guys, um, Kip over here is doing my makeup and Kip is Uganda. Yes. So if you're ever in Kigali and you need to do your makeup, I will leave his handles uh, for both Instagram. Yeah, for Instagram and I'll also leave a contact, right? A contact in the description box below. Um, I've seen some of his work on Tracy and I couldn't wait to try him. The blue eyeliner is the reason I am here. <laughs> so if you don't, if you didn't bring it, Mukwana, I may as well just do my own powder. We have the blue he does the best blue eyeliner ever. Like I can't wait for you guys to see it. So anyway, we are going to start. We're going to start now, and yeah, the bit. I'm just going to set us up here. It's so interesting that you you like know me from the angle. Yes. But your topics are always quite We've gone. We've done well for ourselves, I guess. Very cute platform. We try, we try, we try. Hello, beloved. I am getting my makeup done by the lovely gentleman over there, Kip. Kip is also actually Brandon. So if you. It's how you warned me when you were still in the color. About the blue light. Yes. Uh, do you know there's a time I asked her, does he sell it? Because I've tried to buy it from Urban Decay and like an eyeliner like, in that color and it's always sold out. Beloved, look at what Ken has done. Look at the eighth wonder of the world. Look at this mad, talented person. So we are now going to dress up. I don't know if they picked us up, but anyway, I finished ironing. I'm going to just like obviously dip myself in oil, then come out of it like a swimming pool. And I'm just glazed. A whole donut. Thank you. So guys, I am done. Um, I wish there was better light here so that you guys could see but I'm going to move um, these are the shoes that I'm going with they're from Clutched yeah this is the outfit look at that cute mini skirt got this from Amazon um, this top is H&M but uh, since today is like a casual festival thingy that's why I'm going with this yeah this is what i'm going with i'm doing lots of silver and peach that's why you see the buttons um to match the top and i'm going with my razzle dazzle watch also from clutched and yeah this is our look the stars the scars are a token of my survival so yeah this is what we have sorry friends but this is what we are going to keep doing like this <laughs> Kali, now let me wear the shoes. Start my evening at four. That's the only way I can physically make it to anything. Thirty-five is is it's really hard. <laughs> or I'll be awake. I would be. Wham! Ooh, this hat. Ooh, see, 
That's how you know I'm sneaky. That's how you know I'm sneaky. Who was that? Anyways, see you guys at the talk show thing. All right, so we are come for the festive party. Say hi. Hey girl. Wait, hi, Joy. Joy. Hi, it's the. So we come for the festive party. It's the pre, pre something. It's the pre party for the awards. And it's that, I think, the Kigali Convisional Center. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. We're going to be going in shortly. time check like i know that you've been told that oh the kigali nightlife or oh, is not there or oh, it's kampala that is it <laughs> friends the nightlife in this place is alive and well yeah it's 11 minutes past 3 a.m um and we've just come back that means it's about 11 minutes past 4 a.m in kampala these guys nightlife is alive and well and it's cold i underestimated the coldness underestimated how cold it would be oh god it was cold like i was freezing you guys freezing frozen froze oh everything uh, this is a gift someone sent me today honestly do not care about how this room looks like because yo it's a mess but i am going to sleep i am setting my alarm i'm going to sleep until 10 a.m I'm actually taking this phone here off the hook because I cannot be cold. I like I don't want anyone to call me and say, "Are you going to have breakfast?" Like I would rather starve than eat. So I'm setting an alarm for 10 a.m. Like yo, when we got out of that place, I was too sleepy. Like uh, like a guy walked up to me and said, "Hi, you're so pretty. Can I get to know you?" And I just looked at him like in sleep mode of like, what can't you tell? And I was just like, can I get to know you tomorrow? I am too sleepy. Like, yeah. He's like, okay. Okay, I'm like, yeah. Like, let us schedule these things. I can't believe that as adults, these are things we do. Let us schedule that get to know me thing. Let us schedule that whole get to know me thing. I am that sleepy. But anywho, we went to a dog place. Um, it's called... I can't pronounce the word. Atelier do something. Duvi or Davi. I'm not sure. It seems like a French word and I'm not going to be here massacring the language for nothing. But um I'm not even going to do like skincare and stuff. I am so sorry. Skincare people come for me and beat me. But I am done. Goodbye. Good night. Chigali is actually a very, very allowed, very, very beautiful town and we've had a very, very wonderful time. So good night. Morning beloved, how are you? So we are going to uh, the memorial, the, for those who don't know, um, the genocide memorial, we're going to see it. Um, I'd love to learn about different things and that can only be done you know, if we go there physically. So yeah, we're going to go to the genocide memorial and then we'll go and visit a place called Nyamirambo. Um, I was told it has really nice street food um, So that's what we are doing today. This is day two and I honestly cannot wait 
So I'm going to take a shower and prepare because we're supposed to be leaving at midday. And yeah, like I said, it's, you know, visit Randa. And Yamirambo came in recommended quite a lot by some of my followers from Rwanda. So I was very happy when they suggested that it is on today's itinerary. So see you guys in a bit. I've just finished ironing and I'm now going to take a shower and dress up and then we'll be back. Catch you. So um, I'm going for a Peaky Blinders theme this morning. Let me show you guys the full fit. So first of all, a beret and this, I like to mix metals. This is silver, but it has like a hint of gold that is not seen. But like, yeah, you see what's going on. So let me show you guys what I'm fully wearing. I love Peaky Blinders so much. So I just definitely couldn't wait to recreate this look. I've had these suspenders since like 2015. I got them from Owino. My Nikes, most times when you're packing for a trip, make sure you can wear, you pack shoes or carry shoes that can do like a number of outfits. So yeah, this is the look that we're going with today. I feel like Thomas Shelby. Anywho, yeah, we are stepping out. See you guys in a couple of minutes. So um, yesterday afternoon, uh, the girls, Sylvia took me to, Sylvia and Sly took me to a place called Camellia. It reminds me of that song, Kama, 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 Camellia. Anyway, but um, I also realized that I had not factored in mind the food in Rwanda. Like I had not thought of, oh, you know how you, like you're going to travel and you don't know, like what am I going to eat? I'm so used to eating, um, like, Lately, I eat more local food back home. I don't eat like chips as much. So as I, I didn't think about how like for the next four or five days, I'm going to have to eat like say, you know, like Irish and chips and like lots of, you know. So they took me to a place that has like local food. Um, and I had rice and chips and liver, but like, when we were when we were looking at the menu i didn't know like what to order for like everything just seemed like ha it was like what do i eat what do i select anyway and that was like the meal that i had for the entire day at say 1 pm yesterday on the first day and this is the next meal i'm having because i skipped breakfast because we came back really really like late or early in the morning from the bar and I missed breakfast intentionally that one was intentional so i'm now having an omelette from the hotel with a glass of water but we are passing by the street food quite a bit later like in the after the memorial so i'll see if i can get some lunch there yeah so for now this is it mm. i need to start thinking about um Parking. Fiona told me she packs her own granola when she goes to places. I think that's something that I'm going to start doing actually. It offers so many options. But anyway, let me have my lunch stroke breakfast and then we'll catch up later. Bye bye. They are not here. Up up there. Up there. Up there. And then you yeah, will use the other exit, back. not here. So we have ordered our lunch. Wow. Mm, look at how good. Mm. And this is how beautiful it is. Say hi, ladies. Say hi, Joy. Hi. Say hi to me. Hello. Who has made our stay here very comfortable and very, very, very fun? No, say. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I asked for chili. I love chili. <laughs> Hi beloveds, I am doing my makeup for the awards with the beautiful Mary from Zuri and I will type her in my pages. I'll leave a link to her to her pages, her platform so that you can check out her work. Uh, we are going with a liner, like a wing liner. I wanted a dramatic liner. Yep, she's got it. Yep. Has electricity gone off? 
I feel like electricity has not gone off since I came to Kigali. <laughs> so this is amazing. Anyway, electricity has gone off. I'm sure the generator is about to kick in. And yeah, this is what we're working with. I'll show you guys my final look. But I have my dress over here. It was made by Quesh. I have my shoes over there from Clutched. So I'll show you guys the final look and obviously I am taking you guys to the awards with me. You have to come. You paid for a ticket through me, so you have to come. Thanks. Making sure that that cheekbone is lifted to the gods. Ebi ala gimwa. Beloveds, we are here. We are late, but we are here. Um, we are late by like a couple of 45 minutes. We are here. Um, I'm excited, actually excited to be a part of this. Um, it's actually very, very organized. Very, very organized. The security, everything. We are here, and yeah, this is like the VIP. We're heading to the VIP section. That's Mimi. Hello. Ah, say hi to the queen. Hi. Look at her gown.
back from the awards see i even have an accent from from talking to everyone and listening to everyone that had an accent i had such a very wonderful experience i had a very very lovely time it was beautiful 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 guys when i entered that arena i was literally staring like the light the lights the stage the everything like what a wonderful experience the organization like things started on time things started on time um the performances i like that they had screens literally almost everywhere because while we were in vvip yes we we're in vvip but uh, we were not close to the stage we we're not like that close to the stage but like we truly enjoyed the experience because the screens are like close and they're everywhere um the team that we were working with uh the team from randia amazing like really really amazing experience they made the entire stay very comfortable like they say the van is going to be there at this time it's here on time what there was a bit of traffic before we left that sort of like disturbed us but but like that's it other than that it was a lovely experience you guys like i've enjoyed it so much i need to know how to open this how did i tie it um we did this dress with quesh at the very last minute i am so glad that it came out this nicely like i've enjoyed wearing it it was so simple so easy you guys tracy was here helping me with this dress i think i may have to go to joy's room to help me open it because i don't Tracy, Tracy made sure that she really puts me together and you guys I appreciate that like never take for granted someone who is capable of tucking in all your rolls and meat and everything look at the back look at the back and the question like did a very nice course they like chill now that now it has come out because of a lot of Mojari and Mojaga but but this dress was beautiful like I enjoyed it so much the performances were amazing and by the way, people are very beautiful, you guys. Oh, you guys, it was a very wonderful experience. Like, I'm so happy to be alive and to like experience something as good as this. Like, I'm so happy that the hosts were our neighbors, like our friends, like just like like your neighbor has something, and yeah, it's like all it's all share. So yeah, it feels like that. Like our neighbors had bread, and they called us and said, "Come and sit together and eat this meal." That's how we felt. Meanwhile, the dress has refused to come out. What am I doing wrong? We got it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got it. Remember how the US announced when they got, I think, was it Bin Laden or Osama? Ladies and gentlemen, we got it. I don't know who was announcing. The I think Secretary of Defense, but yeah, insert, insert that one. That's, that's how I, I feel like after catching this stream. Oh, God. So we have a flight as early as 4 a.m. It's about, um, yeah, 12.34, 12.34. And we have a flight at, we have to wake up at 4 a.m. So that we are at the airport by five, because that's when like, we're supposed to check in. And we are flying to Kamembe, Kamembe at 7 a.m. So tomorrow, we are going to explore Lake Kivu, Marina Bay, and then explore Lake, uh, Lake Kivu, uh, yeah, Lake Kivu Islands. Yeah, that's what we're doing tomorrow. But it's a very morning, early morning flight. So I'm wondering whether to pack now or go take a shower, sleep, get up at 4 a.m., shower, dress up, and pack everything else. Huh? I think that works, but I feel like that's, like, that's literally three hours away. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. Like, I'm not those people that are going to pack these things at this time. I'll forget a lot of things. So, I'm just going to come to like pack everything in the morning. And, um, on Monday, we will go to we'll hike we'll go to Nyungwe National Park, and then we'll hike down to Kamiranzovu waterfalls, and then climb back up. Yeah, and then drive back to the hotel. We'll have dinner and then we'll rest and we'll be leaving on Tuesday. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the activity. Good night, people. Mwah. Good night. Oh, now now I'm, I'm a kisser because everyone here is just like, Mwah. Mwah. friends, obviously yesterday I embarrassed you. I put my cheek and the person put their lipstick here. I saw how she was like shocked and appalled of us. Who doesn't know that? Me. So anyway, good night. Love you.
hi guys good morning good morning beloved how are you so we are heading to kamembe and we are checking in at about i think we're leaving after that about 5 a.m but i'm already up and packed and all i was listening to a sermon <laughs> but anyway i don't know if you can see my outfit from here um yeah i'm wearing like a brownish metallic top with brown pants and i'm going to wear it with my sneakers from La Dolce. We are on our hotel and we're now on our way to Kamembe. It's a yeah, domestic flight. It's full right there. Actually, it's full. How many of these people like wear a domestic flight? And it's actually a very like, it's a big flight. It's comfortable. It's, yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Domestic flight and it's not like you know, it's a small. You know, shaky ones like a real like big flight and stuff. So I'm really excited to experience this. I'll do some filming in the air because I know that there's like some really good views in that place. But toodles for now. This place is beautiful. Like, a bit, if, please erase everything I've been saying before and just take this one in. This place is beautiful, 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 serene. Invent new English words and add to that because this is uh, Kim Marina Bay Hotel. Yeah. So this is the reception. Um, there's some cute gardens out there. Um, still checking in our luggage. For now, we just have the like, gardens and the other hills that you see is DLC. There's a pool. Anyway, I'm just I'm just saying that. Oh my goodness, you should visit Tranda. You ought to visit Tranda. You better visit Tranda because and when you visit Tranda, please do come here. Come and see this place. It's serene, it's beautiful, like honeymoon here honeymoon here i am at um, the reception i've just put my card and now i'm walking to the restaurant i think we're going to first have breakfast but here is a span of the reception which is extremely gorgeous Different yogurts. These are different yogurts, right? I'm so happy. I recently was in in a place and I couldn't get like breakfast options so easily. Hi, beautiful people. Just checked into my room. My luggage was already brought up, and Fiona made so much noise about this soda. She called it Citro, Citro, Citro. It's the one that she told me that I should totally try it. And she said it's only in Rwanda. It's a certain type of Fanta. But um, yeah, there's not much to show. My bed, luggage, and this is the balcony. But the view, the floor feels so cold and nice. Oh my God. Um, yeah, so. The city is like Kibu and it's my balcony view. Now just gonna go and take a rest until 2 p.m. when we'll be doing the boat ride. Definitely bringing you guys along, like that's not even an option. Beloved, your friend blacked out. Your friend blacked out. It's now 2 p.m. The sun is at the topmost. Which is great because people scared me that this place would be cold. But I'm going to carry a sweater either way because I was told that the weather here just changes when it wants. So let's do this. Say hi to my partners, AY over there. And this is how we are spending our evenings. Our gorgeous joy. 
Oh, hang on. And the, the, wine. <laughs> the wine has set in. The sunset looks so gorgeous. We are preparing for a very long hike tomorrow. Obviously, taking you guys around so you can see me collapsing. I'm trying to breathe and fight for my life. Thanks. I don't care. Alright, hi beloveds, how are you? So I'm having a very early night um, turning um, because we have a hike tomorrow. Apparently it's um, it's like one hour and a half down and then one and a half hours up and obviously, you know that thing of by the time you're reading this it will be too late, obviously I should have like practiced and you know like trained for as if like a Boston Marathon or whatever but your friend was in training, your friend has just been living, her best life just walking around for and tomorrow is when I'll be tested. But it's like a three hour hike, like one point five, one point five. And I'm looking forward to it and I'm going to enjoy it because these are things I want to start doing. I know, it's funny, but these are things I want to start doing, so yeah. Good night. Good morning my beautiful people. We are now setting off for the hike, going downstairs and have breakfast, and then yeah, we should be setting off by like 8.30, it's now 8.12, so I'm going to have breakfast in the next 20 minutes. This is our outfit, um, these overalls are thrifted, they're from my guy Ken, and this is a river island bag that I've had for a minute now. I've had these sneakers for some, quite some time, I normally wear them to like just chill around Kampala and stuff, but look at thy room. But there's nothing we can do so anyway let's go bye so this is us on our way to Nyungwe park and i would like to show you guys a bit of run there Hi people, uh, this place reminds me of Karo Karunj. But anyway, this is a very beautiful scenery with the mountains like right right in the back and this is tea. I truly 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 have loved this. Beloved, we're actually here. It's it's very it's way shorter than one hour. I lied, it's shorter than one hour, it's about 30 minutes. So we are at Nyungwe. I'm just gonna show you guys um span, that's the entrance. This is Nyungwe, that's the entrance to Nyungwe Park. But I wish I could continue because the place is extremely beautiful. The drive is beautiful, the road is really, really dope. So, let's go and see what this hike is about. So, we have begun, friends. This is how a horror movie starts. This is how a horror movie starts. Yeah, people walking into the forest. Like, aim to the forest. We go. Into the forest we go. Into the jungle we go. Prayers, prayers up, prayers up. Okay, by the time you see this video, it means that I survived and lived to edit it. Okay, let me just show you slightly the trail. However, the ground is very slippery. The ground is really slippery. Look, that's our tour guide, and that's the ground. It's quite rivers. Oh, the camera is getting a very nice picture. Canon, yay! Oh, really? Filimbi? You're not going to filimbi. What you get from those trees? Are you tired, you? <laughs> oh, friends, we made it. 
We made it. We made it. And okay, this is the distance from there to here, right? Okay, and the love, sweet venue. Only one, my everything, and to you, the song I sing. Oh, my life, <laughs> baby, baby. Never thought that. We are back. Um, we need like a little tour of the shop, the coffee shop over there and the reception like a very nice cute place oh see that cutie on tv i deserve the picture but uh, uh come guys this is the picture the after the after hi guys so i'm back and i don't know if i gave you guys a room tour this is it. This is it. My sweater. I've been sleeping in this sweater. Ooh, things. 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 Bathroom. Um, my wig closet. And we are done. So we are back from the trick. The trick at um New way pack. That was amazing. It's amazing how far the human body can go. How far it can be pushed. I'm just grateful that my body did this for me. Like, thank you, body, for taking care of me. Thanks. So I'm now going to pay for a massage. You know me. I don't go anywhere and not get a massage. So I'm going to go and get a massage so that my sore body can relax and I can sleep thereafter actually going to be the last one to leave like out of the entire team because my flight to Entebbe is about is, is at about six and it gets to Entebbe at about eight something in the night so I have but it's a good thing because I have some time to meet a few of my viewers from Kigali yeah it's so good I've taken soda and the gas anyway so let me shower and then go down for my massage Hi people, good morning, good morning. Uh, this is our final day here and I'm trying to pack up, pack up and go home. I've had such a very wonderful experience and it's been really amazing. Um, it's so funny how uh, by like Feb of this year, I think I was, I think I was out of hospital like December. Uh, towards Christmas like 17th December and I didn't think that this year would turn out like this because by Jan this year I could barely sit I could barely walk I was I was not okay I was just trying to like just hold on like live one day at a time see what the day brings that sort of thing and I can't believe that it's just like a few months down the road and I am literally the happiest i've ever been in my life really really happy just very glad to be alive that's something that i don't even take for granted like i'm just truly truly grateful for that like being here was such a moment for me a moment of sitting down and just reflecting and thinking i didn't like if you had told me last year that i would be here today now 
I don't think I would have believed you. I would definitely not have believed you. But look, look, it's happening. Like last yesterday when we were walking in the forest, I had a moment where I just stopped and said, wow. like I just stopped and prayed and said, God, you're wonderful. You're wonderful because God gives back, he redeems time. He gives back lost time. And so there are so many times we feel like, oh, my friends are doing this, my mates are doing that. And for me, I'm just at home. I don't have a job, what? I want to tell you that God redeems time because I can see it. I see it now. Just being on this trip alone has showed me that God really redeems time. He redeems your time. He gives it back to you in full and times 10. We go through so many situations in life that make us feel like God is blessing everyone else but me. Like everyone else's things are moving on. You're struggling to conceive. You see your friend's children going to school. You feel like time is going. For me, when will I have my own kids? For me, when will I be able, when will I go to school? Their kids will be graduating and what will I be doing? It's so funny because God redeems time. They'll probably, you'll probably have your own kids in the right time. They'll go to school in the right time. Like everything will fall into place. God really, really redeems time. And I am so happy. Like I'm so privileged to be here, to be in this space and to be this happy. I am so happy. My heart is full and I am happy. I am happy. There are times that I feel like, um, like I'm too happy. Like, am I going to die? Why am I? Why am I this happy in life? Like, why am I just? Why am I so content? Why am I content? Is it because? Is it? Is, is God like just giving me a chance to live my last days out? That that kind of thing. Like, I'm always wondering because this this cannot be humanely possible. Like, it can't be this possible that I'm this content, that I'm this satisfied, that I'm this happy. Like, I don't have much, but I'm happy. And I worry, I wonder sometimes, I'm like, this is suspicious. But I also know it's because we were raised to feel like that. My mom used to tell you, like when my brother and I would be like laughing at something, she'd be like, you're about to cry. You are about to cry. And she'd make sure that she beats you so that you cry, you cry and realize that you have no business being happy in this world. So each time I'm happy, like I feel like, is something going to happen? God, this is suspicious. What are you trying to do? But anyway, here we are. Nothing has happened. I am just alive and grateful. So grateful. So grateful. You guys, I, I can't explain it. I wish I could put it in a bottle or I wish there was like an extra that could show the happiness in someone's heart so that I can break it down for you so that I can explain it really well. When I go to Kampala, I'm going to be a mad person. Like those mad people who wake up with a hoe, go to, go to like the road, and I just start digging. That's what I think I want to do. I want to go and start digging. Like people will just see me with a hoe, digging, trying as hard as possible. And I'll plant, like I'll just plant seedlings of trees. After seeing what I saw, I was totally embarrassed. The only question I have is how can I do better? Like how can I do better for my home country? Like, how can I do better for Uganda? What can I do? to make Uganda better. What have I borrowed from this country? I feel like we need to come here for like a school trip where they show us, oh, you know how they say, you look at the neighbors, you, the neighbors kids who are going to read their books. I feel like I want us to come here for a school trip, then we all go back and implement. But even if we don't come for a school trip, we could just start by not littering. We could just start by not throwing things out of our cars, which is something we like to do. Yeah, we could start there. That should be a very good place for us to start my lesson from here. Let's plant trees because, man, if what I saw with the weather, what I saw with these guys' weather was amazing. The camera started to fall, so let me first finish packing and then I'll catch you guys later. So, the lovely gentleman is taking me on the streets of Kigali and we are downtown. We wanted to get some crafts. We got these already. But, this is like sort of their market. This is called Hari Kaminko. Chimironko. Chimironko. We got some crafts from here. Let me show you around. My name is this can't be. Like this. Cannot just... John is my name. Okay, hello John. I'm good. <laughs> good morning. Welcome back from Kigali. 
we are back to Kampala and I want to tell you that adulthood is not easy at all I feel like I am so freaking exhausted but I don't even have time to be exhausted like to like deal with it and take it in because I have so much work to do I have so many things to do that I'm committed to doing that I have to do I'm like when does this stop like when does it end and I need to do all these things before November starts and today is 26th November so October so there we go friends anyway I'm heading out for something and I'll be sharing that on my Instagram stories but I just wanted to wrap up this video thank you so much for watching if you've come to the end of it thank you so much for watching peace